What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Welcome to episode two of What the Fuck News. Today we learn about a Michigan woman who shot her lover in the gut. Apparently she was not very happy, I guess you could say, with the amount of, let us also say, production that her lover was producing immediately, and I do mean immediately, right after sex. Apparently she expected a whole lot more... How shall we put it? Let's say genetic material passed on from him to her during sex. And so, of course, she assumed he had been passing some of that on to some other woman previously. So, of course, and every, every woman, you know, comes to the same conclusion, she took out a gun and shot him in the gut to make up in blood the amount that she was expecting and not receiving of that said genetic material. That is not the funny part. Well, okay, it is the funny part. The best part of this story is she used to be married. In 1991, she shot her husband. And I'm kind of thinking, after I looked at her mugshot, this woman should be happy with the amount of genetic material that she actually received because she's lucky to get the little that she did. Link below. Story number two, a Franklin, Indiana woman took a box cutter to a man's penis and sliced his penis because she thought that the man had molested her two-year-old son. It appears that this woman has a daughter and the daughter has a boyfriend and the boyfriend was the man that had his penis sliced. As the story goes, at first the woman took a fork to his penis and she was unhappy with the amount of blood that was produced, so she went and got a box cutter and used that instead. Why was the victim's penis still around after the fork attack? News note number three. South Carolina woman shot her fiancé on Christmas after an argument. The argument was about what colors to use during their wedding. News note number four, and this will come as no surprise to anyone out there, it seems that Americans really are special, especially young women out there who find themselves pregnant, nearly 1% of which insist there was absolutely no participation or input or any other kind of conceivable help, conceivable help from a man. That is, nearly 1% became pregnant by a miracle. And it will probably also come as no surprise at all that the young women who had vowed to remain chaste and celibate until they were married, abstinence only, were more often to find themselves with a miracle baby. Story number five, an Indiana man broke into a medical research facility over the span of four or five years and stole human tissues, including human brains. And of course, what does one do with human brains that one has pickled in jars? Sell them on eBay, of course. Seems to me this person needs 
More brains. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.